Hello! Today I'll turn Tinkerbell and her Tinker Fairy friends into Lego mini dolls. Bricomotion. Tinkerbell is the star of the whole Disney Fairies franchise, and that's why she got the full customized treatment. That means her green skirt and the flats are painted. I like the white puff balls on her toes, but the whole attire lacked a bit of wow, so I added a bit of shine to it. Now the dress looks as if it was made out of shiny leaves. I love that. To best represent her iconic hairstyle, I painted Cindy's hairpiece. Well, just the hairband needed to be painted. They are both blondes, so... And yes, I'm aware that LEGO did come out with a Disney castle that has a Tinkerbell minifigure in it. But I neither have nor like that hairpiece, so Cindy's it is. An extra reason for using this hairpiece was that I wanted to dollify the Tinkerbell from Pixie Hollow, who has great adventures with her friends and not the somewhat mean Tinkerbell from Peter Pan. The wings are made with the help of the same pattern I always use. I ought to update it at some point, but it's great for fairies, so I'm using it. I made them from this semi-translucent green paper, even though the fairies from Pixie Hollow have shiny, completely transparent wings. Can you guess why I did that? Because I figured you wouldn't be able to see completely transparent wings in a video. Don't you just love how adorable she looks? I do. And look, she's even kind of the same size as the real thing would be. Add just a bit of fairy dust and she can fly away. Oops. That was a bit too much fairy dust. My bad. Sorry. Tink's colleagues and friends, Clank and Bobble, can't wait to become mini dolls as well. I'll dollify Clank first. I'm so grateful that Farron from LEGO Elves is an Earth Elf, cause now I can just repurpose his clothes, no painting necessary. Just a few tattoo removals, but luckily that's easily done in the LEGO world. And I must talk about this hairpiece. It's horrible. I hate it. And yet Clank seems to like that haircut, making me use this atrocity for the sake of accuracy. Blech. I'm sure Bobble's hair will be better. There is nothing new with his body assembly. Farron's old clothes and the same paper wings. But what to do with the huge glasses? Haha! -ha! Robin from the Lego Batman movie wore these and the glasses cover just enough of the mini doll's eyes that I can use it. Not the fanciest hairpiece in existence, but it works. And I love stuff that works. Maybe in my heart I'm a tinker as well? There's still one very important tinker fairy left. Fairy Mary is kind of an overseer of the tinkerers, so we can't leave her out. Her outfit isn't the most accurate, but it was the easiest to put together. And I like it as a tinker uniform. End of discussion. Hmm, maybe I should take this outfit for myself. Hmm, do I look better? I don't know. I mean, hmm, I like it, but I miss my purple shirt. Yeah, I think I'll stick to my regular teaching clothes. Bye-bye.